Okay, so new game. We're gonna sit on normal because I don't like putting it on hard because you just get crappy HR. You just get a ton of HP on stuff. And I really don't hit points on stuff. I really don't care. Um, you can pick your agent history, and that sort of sets your skills and. Um, I think it sets some of the dialogue a little bit, but I've never done any of those. Uh, I like to do the recruit veteran thing. Can't do the veteran thing now because I don't have it unlocked because I haven't played this in so long. Uh, I deleted and had to reinstall. So recruit, you get some special dialogue options. It makes it a little more challenging because here are all the skills, but you get no skills to start with. Um, like if I want tech specialist, see I get a little bit. And I could modify it as I wanted. But I don't want to do that. I'll do it like this. And so this will be the uh, the kind of good guy. Not kind of good guy, he'll definitely be a good guy. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, nothing much to say there. Uh, I won't waste a bunch of time looking at all this stuff right now. As we go through the game, I'll go over that stuff a bit that stuff a bit more and so we'll commit changes confirm your changes before starting yes Get a camera in there. because one missile, big missile wasn't enough. Yeah, that probably would have done it. Look out for the fire truck. Drugged me. Great. Now I'm going to fail the next drug screening test. They could have just asked me to close my eyes. Yeah, so I am playing this on the PC, but one of the only really good things they did in this game. Um, as far as gameplay was you can use a 360 controller for it provided you have the right hookups and the game is much better with the 360 controller good you're awake Let's see speaking to someone blah 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 basically what it's saying is you pick a style of speaking to somebody while you're talking to them uh, extra suave, Y for aggressive, B professional, A action or special stance. That'd be like, uh, you know, punching them in the face or taking a very conversation specific stance. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. 
Ugh. Oh, I think I'm still coming down. What? Oh, never mind. Just clearing my head. Uh, 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 professional. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. N Don't yeah, no. That. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination procedure here. All the more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come And we will him. ask her to provide a when distraction. Does, Can you distract the guard? Unlock the door. I could. A glitch in the security panel in the hall outside might do it. As long as you don't make too much noise when you leave, you might take him by surprise while he's checking it. Disabling the security panel. The door should be unlocked. Okay. Click for duck. Open door. Uh oh. <laughs> That's the worst sneaking stance ever. Whoops. Oop, before him takedown, yeah. Shh, sleep. Huh, what's this thing you do? Let's not break open the door. Hey, ah, shh, shh. Bunch. Shut up. Somebody get me another angle on Thornton now. Okay, um, <laughs> so we're cutting circuits. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on the wall. Do a bypass on it. Basically, like, sort of a maze game. Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. <laughs> He's got that goofy. I forgot about that thing. Oh. Isn't there, like, a stick-to-cover button? I thought there was. I'm so taking that guy down. I'm gonna choke you, man. I'm gonna choke ya! No, oh, well. Ow! Choking him would have been a lot nicer. It's on. Oh, Trank Pistol. Can work with that. But I want to punch him in the throat. Oh, oh! Jeez, just kill him next time. It'll be nicer. Oh, I don't really need to heal. If you look in the bottom right, there it shows my armor in gray, and my health in red, and how many trank darts I have, which is 25. Uh, sorry, man. I gotta do it. Okay. He got sleepy time, that one's okay. And those bullet icons are, I guess, how many I have in the clip? Yep. Or in the magazine. Where's that arrow pointing to? It is pointing down. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Hmm. It's so nice of them to have a camera do that. You know, have a big, obvious, flashlight kind of field. Makes them a really... Oh, there it is. Press A to enter cover. So you... Oh, oh, yeah, that. Ooh, ooh. What? You saw nothing. No, no, no. I'm not shooting him through the head. It's just a trank dart. Okay, X to reload. Uh, that cover thing. There it is. Didn't really work before. Hoya! Still don't need to heal. One of the cool things about this game, if I remember correctly, there should be a little bit of info around here. 
So you can dig up information on people. Hmm. Must not be here right now. And complete your dossier on them. And you learn information about them, um, what their motivations are, what might let you manipulate them or get them to trust you or something. Almost gave me the slip. Now we got you. Hi. Lockpicking. Oh, yeah. Left trigger to apply pressure, right trigger to set the pin, blah, 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 blah. This is actually a good bit how uh, actual locks work. Pin and tumbler. Do, do, do. Voila. I am an awesome spy. Any sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Shh. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can. Press left on the D pad. Oh, okay. So basically, you can just set it. Okay, yeah. I want that one set. And left bumper. Oh, and it shows me where all the guys are. That's right. Oh, I don't want to. I want to shoot him. Dart in the head. No, don't. Oh. Don't shoot the rail. I hate it when games do that. Uh oh. No, no, not sprint! Oh, that was the wrong button. Sprint was. I wanted to stay in cover. Yeah, like that. Doofus game. And. Pew! No, what? Pugin! Pretty sure that's not how actual tranquilizers work, but... Whatever. Ah, what am I gonna stay still for? They already know I'm here. I don't think they can come up here. Let's turn that off. Beeping is annoying. Uh oh. No, stop sprinting, you idiot! Ah, stop doing that. Okay, so, first lesson. <laughs> yes, tap A to use cover. That's important. Hmm. Uh, camera. Do do do. Give me that. Ha! I stole your money. I bet that was your money. Where'd you? Where? Wow. He's gone. I can't gloat. I'm going to hack your inner tubes. This, I heard, gave people on the PC who are using the mouse and keyboard a lot of trouble. Basically, you have to find these two sequences through all the numbers and then highlight them. And it's a lot easier when you have two thumbsticks and one thumbstick can look for each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just explained all this. They don't want to hear it again. Uh, so that one goes there. Left trigger. Uh oh. Whoops. Okay, this one's pretty forgiving. And there we go. End of the line, Mike. Give it up. I'm shooting your TV. Okay. Uh, nobody around. 
I'm breaking open that door. Hoya! Alright, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you oh. get kidnapped and recruit questioned. conversation stuff. Is this place hidden? Very. Not only does this place not exist, but places that think they know about this place, well, they don't exist either. That's a little confusing. <laughs> Hell of a lot easier than politics. Let me guess. You're not done hazing me yet. Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions while you're through some more tests. Then you and I can talk face to face. That make you feel better? Do some more recruit. It depends on the tests, I guess. Well, then I guess it depends on how you do on the test, then. I... Starting with this one. But... I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Although with your experience, it's more like a pamphlet. Fresh out of Langley, we had to wipe behind your ears before shipping you over. I think I've got potential, sir, and I'm anxious to prove we'll it. We'll see. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pit um, here and meet the rest of the crew. Sarcasm. There's more of you? I'm unique. So is the rest of the staff. They all have their little quirks, but that's what makes them perfect for the job. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. Whoa! It's and dangerous, but I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. See up your nose. Great. Just like high school. Take some tests, then chat with the guidance counselor about my future. Okay, so action points. Uh, yeah. So up there you see AP 10, and then it shows the cost for all this stuff. So recruit. The easiest thing to do is, uh, let's see. First, I need sabotage, and you'll see later why sabotage is pretty important. And then we'll upgrade pistols, and I think that's all I can upgrade right now. Yeah. That's a perk I just picked up. It makes endurance plus five, um, and I got it for trying. Let's see. Have you tried the professional approach in your first few conversations? And there's all my stats. Orphans created. Let's try to keep that to a minimum. This guy's a rookie. Doesn't want to start off with a, you know, big body count. Okay. I think that'll do it. Yes, confirm changes. Big ass screen. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, okay. So I don't have any pistol skills yet. Well, I don't have any weapons, so shut up. Stop. The door doesn't open. Use the locker to change appearance. After using locker, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You probably want to change. Go on. Um... Hmm. I want to be very tan. Yes, we'll go with some sexy hair. Ooh, beards. Oh, yeah, no, we can't. Oh, tempting, tempting. But not this time. Yeah, a rookie would be clean shaven. Hat. Those look retarded. Who would wear it? Could wear it backwards. Wow, that would be. Someone should just shoot him in the head for that. Swamp hat, no. <laughs> see, head wrap. Nah. He'd have to go with just regular sexy hair. And probably go with some, yeah. 
Man, I don't know. I can't see. He's got sunglasses on. All right, that'll do it. Orientation's not made, of course. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. No, I'm a good guy. I'm gonna turn that TV on. I'm wasting Our your power. Does not end here. This target is not the last. Hmm. With our will and our resolve, our Samad shall oh. continue to attack. Oh, guys, blew up the plane. Fight the aggression of the West with its own weapons. No, not weapons. We want. Yes. I thought they said they wanted me interrogation. Uh. Do I have? Yeah. Let's look at intel. Oh, return to interrogation room. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go back. <laughs> this game runs so badly. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? As much as I thought was necessary. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. I gave it my best and so did they. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. It's almost like you did a 180 as soon as you left this room. Uh, just one thing real quick. <clears throat> if you notice there, it said plus one to reputation or whatever with this guy. That's actually kind of an important thing in this game, depending on what you do and what you say to people and how you approach them. You can get them to really like you or really hate you or just be kind of in the middle. And there can be upsides or downsides to all of that. Like, you know, you might be able to get somebody to attack you if you really make them mad or you might be able to get them to help you if you get them to really like you. Yeah, so moving on. In my experience, time is of the essence. <sighs> well, I suppose we'll have to waive the physical evaluation. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteer. Mm, Usually duty. we have to ask. <laughs> I want to serve my country. Duty. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here. And you're not convincing me. I get an opinion? <laughs> or is that a rhetorical question? All right, let me be more specific. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. I'm not... sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. And if I want to impress them? You don't always want to or need to. Having a good or bad rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places, and your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want. And if I compromise an asset in the field by choosing the wrong path? No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, 
which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. If I need a breather to assess the situation, right? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. Okay. I wouldn't I'm done with this. You. you seem to have the basics down. I'd rather skip the pep talk and get started. Fair enough. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That's Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. But how did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. I am curious. You to kill him. You know Ooh, where kill he him. is. No, but that'll be part of your mission in the Middle East. Find the missiles, then find him, and take him out. You don't want him taken alive. If he cooperates, sure, bring him in. On the off chance he tries to kill you, then put a bullet in his head. I'll put my ears in Just Charles one? Ears. All right, then, pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit, and on video and radio when needed, agent. And I just got here. Oh, well... I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Uh, oops. I think I skipped a little bit. So yeah, I totally skipped all the training stuff. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news, an accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, obviously these are little flashbacks or flash forwards or whatever. Two different timelines going on here. Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. Made it to Saudi Arabia, sir. I'm at the safe house. I guess that much. See any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport? No, sir. I don't think so. That was a joke, Mike. But stay on your toes anyway. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid. And he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him... Maybe you can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Next. Got it. What's the next lead? We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored I want to know there. a little more about that. Is there any way to be sure the missiles are there? Not at this time. The area is dug into the side of a canyon, and getting reliable satellite imagery when sandstorms aren't blowing has been almost impossible. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be weapons. interested in. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however. 
using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. The weapons locker you already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so... Stop talking. Added. Okay, thank you. Westridge. Great. Home sweet. So, let's see. Middle East. Sunny. Dry. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, oh, I love these weapons lockers. How schnazzy is that? Do I even have any armor at this point? Uh, trigger, there we go. So we need pistol. Oh, I've got a silencer. And a laser sight. And, oh, no magazines. I have to find something else to read. Ha <laughs> ha. Second weapon. Let's see, we will go with the assault rifle um, with no barrels or sights oh right I think it's all no stop no I didn't want to back up that much no I can't I was thinking I could swap those interceptor body armor so each of these has little has stats on it so the endurance goes way up plus 25 sound deafening goes down a little bit more importantly, you get an upgrade slot. Okay, do I have any armor mods? Nope. So, first aid kit restores health, obviously. And, oh, an explosive grenade. Let's see. Should be a computer. Run faster. Man, they really paid good money for this place. That is an involved bathtub. Wait, what was that? There was a thing it said I could do. Oh. Customized Thornton. You know what? I'm going to take off these glasses. Because they're dumb. I keep getting in my way. I can't see. Ah, computer. So you do think two the the bleh, 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 you can do two things. You can access your email. Mina Tang. So I'm gonna scroll through this. Uh, hopefully the recording will be decent enough to where you can read it if you want to. Okay, I got a bit sidetracked. Uh, you were looking at email. Blah blah blah. We already talked about that yeah basically Westridge gave me speech look out for money and if you look there's a thing that says download so you can hit X and you will you'll download free money it gives you access to money uh, welcome aboard blah 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 From Sean Darcy. Yet these are all people I should have met, but I didn't. We'll get them next time. <laughs> Westridge put me in charge of logistics for the run on the detention camp. Mission comes for local contact. And then here he's saying, here this Sean guy is saying, um, he's got to contact the it stuff. And you can reply to this email. Some emails you can reply to. Let's see, we will do, um, oh, and this top part is his response. So if you put it on suave or aggressive, so put that up there. 
That one's all sarcastic and suave. That one's aggressive and being a jerk, but we'll do professional. Thanks for the warm welcome, blah, 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 blah. Yes, send email. And now she likes me a little bit more, which is good because she does actually serve as one of my uh, handlers. Oh, guns. Man, there's all this stuff, and I forget what to get. Okay, I definitely want armor. I want this one. Crappy sound dampening. Oh, uh, wait. Basically, we want item slots. Oh, man, there's all kind of crap on here. And there's some cool stuff like infrared flash bulb. So if you have that equipped on your armor, cameras won't see you instantly. Wish they had a little more on what they did. Okay. And right now we have $15,000. So I want to get, oh, we got to look at other stuff. And we want to get an EMP charge. I'll explain why for that. So the first thing we want to do is intercept the Nasri arms dealer. And I just bought some information that will give me a, a, like a secondary objective on there. We'll get that SWAT utility armor. So now I can sell stuff. And I want to sell. Wait, what? Okay. All right. So that's enough of this. Let's at least get into some of the gameplay. Anything else in here? No. I guess this, just the super secret spy room that's got a bunch of computers and crap in it if anyone just walks in to take a look at it. There is the door. Okay. So this is the map. And as you can see, there's info here that you can look at. Blah, 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 blah. And we want to do with Saudi Arabia. Intercept Nazri the arms dealer. So my handler will be Westridge, the boss guy. And he, as you can see, he gives a bonus perk. It's called Buy the Book 2. Minus 10% cooldown on all abilities. Stolen missiles have been tracked to a black market arm, arms dealer. Okay. So let's check our inventory. All right, I gotta set my armor. And I have no armor mods, so that doesn't matter. But this is like the first mission, so it won't really matter. Oh, you know what? Okay, so what's important about these EMP charges? I guess I didn't need to buy this armor after all. <clears throat> so I'm going to go buy more stuff for that real quick. But anyway, what's important about the EMP charges is if you come across something that's obnoxious to hack, you can just hit it with an EMP charge and it completely nullifies the... Um... Oops, did not want to buy that. <laughs> it completely nullifies the lock or the computer or whatever. And uh, I don't have money for that. Okay. Now we're going for reels. Really reels. Yep, yep, yep. Inventory. Okay. 
Okay, now I've got four EMP charges and a health kit. Nope. Oh, I thought. Oh, right. Uh, 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 I'm gonna joke with you. Wait, that was a bad idea. Canadian, actually, but I won't hold that against you. What is your business here? Man, that guy's serious. Christmas trees. Come on, you know what I'm here for. I call Nasri. Check on you. Go ahead. It's not gonna check out, Mike. You need to take him out before he gets to the radio. <laughs> no, I should've. Ow! Oh, this- oh no, disaster. Wow, that was fast. Oh, I really should have done a tutorial. Okay. Oh, grenade! This is going really badly. Ah! Shoot him! Stick to the van! Thank you! That's terrible cover, buddy. Ow! Where are my weapons? Yeah, there we go. Ow, stop shooting me! Oh! No, keep shooting me! Oh, get off the- No! Come on! Come on! No, stop doing that! really hate that guy. Man, that was really subtle. Messy, but effective. Good job, Mike. That was embarrassing. Okay, uh, yeah, so you can see armor regenerates, but health does not. Man, it's a good thing I packed extra health kits. <sighs> Is there a ladder over here? No. Radio. I will deactivate alarm. Okay. No more alarms. Everything's fine. Oh, no, that's... Uh, well, I need that anyway. I used my health kit and I wanted to use my stupid... Oh, hey, I can switch sides I'm shooting from. I didn't know about that. Okay, so that is now on the right bumper. Oh yeah. No, not that. So, service record. In one of my conversations, I got plus two for something I said to, uh, what's his name? And if you look, each of these arrows does something, so it gives you an actual ability. So what we would like to get is up to uh, the first chain shot, because that's pretty much <laughs> the winningest thing in the game. I think we're going to probably need some improved health. Yeah, going to need that. Wait, no, open. Okay, B is punch. This is really not the good way to learn how to play, or remember to learn how to play. No, get off the wall! Get off! Where do I go? Yeah, I know it says stuff over there. There's 
nothing over here. Oh. Shh, sneaky time. I don't even have a silencer for my pistol, do I? Nope. Fantastic. It's okay. Apparently I hate being quiet anyway. Away. Oh no, dang it. Why do you guys love grenades so much? Oh no, ow! Stop, no, stop shooting immediately! Yes. This is so embarrassing. I think I, the first time I played the game, I did better than this. Shoot straighter! Well, I don't think that's actually how they wanted me to do that. Although you can do that. Woo! Ammo! You know what, we just need to drop the pretenses and... Yeah. Door? Nasri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill. That's your target. And... Ammo! It has been quiet since the airliner. I would have expected more to have happened. The airliner was enough. Ah, we the there we go. Do not be too eager. So, we, I don't know how you disable a manual door lock with an EMP, but... Oop! Abort! You're a jerk! Shoot! Shoot! feel so bad for this Alpha Protocol Agency. They hired the worst guy on the planet. I'm gonna pick this lock. Oh, don't do that. No, I was fine. Crap. Pick up weapon mod. Unfortunately, you can't put on weapon mods in the middle of a mission. I think. Let's double check. Oh! Apparently I'm just dumb. Because you can. Okay, so now we can attempt sneaky. I promise nothing. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, no! Oh, no! Why am I so bad at this now? Well, it's not like the alarm could go off more. Oh, yeah. Heal. I need that. Ah, it's good stuff. Nobody around. Okay. Pistol. What am I doing that for? There's not even anybody around.
Ah. Got some arrows. Alternate ways in. No need to risk a direct confrontation. Look, I I'll keep an eye out. Don't have much choice in the matter. Oh no no! Don't. What are you doing, you idiot? Huh. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. Okay, just having a technical issue there. Alright, so sneaky and jump. No, not. Oh, you're so stupid! So we're gonna do this. Boom. Just used an EMP. What? 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 What was that? No! What? Oh! Who saw me? I'm so sad. No other thing. No. No. There. Man, I was all sneaky and everything. Seriously, Michael, do you even know how to hold a gun? Well, I found another way in. No! Get off him! Ah. Beat him up! Beat him up! Come on, punch him! Punch him! Ow! No! Not you punch me! No, get off the wall! No, don't! Get off the wall! Stop shooting at me. Especially since I can't really shoot back. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, this is just so bad. Run! Haha! <laughs> okay, so now we'll go the other way. Well, at least I wasted an EMP on the door. That's good, right? Where are they? Whoops. I want... no. I want you to have a grenade. Poorly thrown grenade. Oh, no, not right beside me. Oh, there's more than one? That is cheating. Come on. Hit him just a little more. Come on. Ah! They love grenades so much. some hot button for that hot key or something like that oh go over yes whoa shoot your arm Get that guy. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <sighs> so.
So, I may end up with a few more orphan children than I thought. A few more. It's not my fault, though. Okay, that's deactivated. Really getting good at that. Hey, free money! Health. How do you even alarm a safe like this? Oh! No! I just turned that off! <sighs> oh, <laughs> I already hacked it, so now I can just turn it off completely. I don't even know what I got from that crate now. the worst spy ever. <laughs> Using my super spy senses and I find nothing. Sure, I'll find a way to set off an alarm anyway. Hmm. A room with bullets. Twelve steel core rounds. Steel core rounds do more damage than regular rounds. Stairs. That is a lot of stairs. Really rickety stairs too. Oh no! I'm actually just gonna call it quits here <laughs> so we got a got a good start on this and you can guess that disaster awaits just ahead I'll get better at this I, I promise you start unloading the second truck why must we hurry to unload these weapons? Nasri is plenty to display already. They're probably talking to me. They probably know I'm already here. Yep. All right. That'll do it. I uh, hope this first set goes okay. Hope you guys like it.